Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Koswa and today I'm going to be watching a video released by NHSC on their YouTube channel talking about the factors they use to determine how to give out an NHSC award. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Let's watch the video. The National Health Service Corps provides loan repayment and scholarship awards to primary care clinicians. Aside from the scholarship, which I focus on, NHSC also has other loan repayment programs and a student to service program. So if the scholarship doesn't work for you, they have other programs as well. In turn, these clinicians commit to serving at an NHSC approved site located in an area with a shortage of health professionals. So of course, with all of the NHSC programs, you have to complete some type of service in a federally qualified health center. One thing to note is that the minimum number of years for service is two years. So even for the scholarship, if you apply in your final year of dental school and you receive funding for just one year, your minimum amount of service time uh, is two years still. Let's review how awards are determined for the NHSC loan repayment, scholarship, and students to service programs. By the way, all NHSC approved sites, a lot of them when you're looking through their clinic um, website page, you'll see the NHSC logo at the bottom and that's how you know that this is a site that qualifies for any of their programs. Let's first take a look at the National Health Service Corps Loan Repayment Program. Once the application cycle closes, the review process begins. It's important to note that the application cycle is not a rolling cycle, like they mentioned. They wait for the deadline to pass and then they start reviewing them. So really there's no need to rush to try and get it early. I know some dental schools had some type of a rolling admission or college rather, but for this one you can you know wait till the end, make sure everything is complete, everything is accurate so that you don't you know make any type of mistake that could hinder your chances of receiving any of these programs. If an applicant meets all the necessary program criteria and has eligible educational loans, they are ranked based on the site's health professional shortage area score, which is known as a HIPSA. Right. Well, something to pay attention to is usually a site will have three different HIPSA scores um, for different disciplines. So there'll be one for primary care, there'll be one for dental, and then there'll be one for mental health. And they might not all be the same. So if you have a HIPSA score um, for your graduating class of 18 for dental, just make sure that when you check the website, you're looking at the HIPSA score for dental for that clinic and not something else, so you're not confused. A HIPSA is a geographic area, population group, or healthcare facility that has been designated as having a shortage of health professionals. The higher the HIPSA score, the higher the need. Those so with the HIPSA scores, if you are applying for the loan repayment program and you have um, your job searching first before you apply, if you want to be sure that you're going to get this, the program, the loan repayment program, then you want to probably select a site with a you know, relatively high HIPSA score. The sites have HIPSA scores ranging from 0 to 26. So the closer you are to 26, the needier the clinic and the more likely you will be to receive funding. Applicants working at sites with high HIPSA scores are given priority consideration, as well as NHSC scholars and applicants from a disadvantaged background. So NHSC scholars and applicants, applicants from a disadvantaged background also have a higher priority for receiving the NHSC loan repayment. So as an NHSC scholar, even once you're done with your service, if you still have educational debt from college or some degree that was leading up to your discipline currently, you can still apply for the loan repayment program um, so that they can pay more of your educational debt. Now let's take a look at the scholarship program and the Students to Service Loan Repayment program. Each year, these two programs receive many eligible applications, so it's a comp So the scholarship program and the Student to Service program are very similar. Both of them you apply, well, for the, the scholarship program you apply, you can apply before or during dental school, and the Student to Service program you can only apply in your final year of dental school. Competitive award process. Once the application cycle closes, the review process begins. If an applicant meets all the necessary program criteria, the application is evaluated through an independent review process. So the scholarship program has a maximum of four years, and the student to service program has a maximum of three years. 
Priority is given to students who have performed well academically, are from a disadvantaged background, and are likely to continue to serve in a high-need area once their NHSC service commitment is complete. Right, so those are the three main factors um, for determining uh, an award or make you more competitive. Let me go back, Let's see, let's find it. Academically, are from a disadvantaged let's go back. background. Priority is given to students who have performed well academically, are from a disadvantaged background, and are likely to continue to serve in a high need area once their NHSC service commitment is complete. Right, like you mentioned, high grades coming from a disadvantaged background and your commitment to serving even after your service is complete are three main things they look out for in these uh, review processes. Additional factors such as essays and letters of recommendation are also considered. Applications are evaluated for eligibility and completeness. For the disadvantaged background section, if you're not sure if you're coming from a disadvantaged background or not, there's a form that you can fill out. It's in the application packet. Um, or you don't fill it out, you give it to your financial aid department of your school, and they will fill it out for you to determine if you are considered disadvantaged or not. And then you can upload that form alongside your application and hope for the best. After undergoing an independent review process, they're scored and ranked based on these factors. For all NHSC programs, the number of awards are based on the level of funding available that year. For more information, visit www.nhsc.hrsa.gov. Right, so obviously um, each year there's you know, a certain amount of money that can, they can give out for all these um, awards. And I'm going to link the website that I found. It's like a dashboard for, for HRSA's website. And you can kind of look to see how many awards were, how many applications um, there were versus how many were eligible and then how many were actually given the scholarship. So I'll link that below. Check that out. Okay, I think that's the end. Yep, very short video. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope, you know, I kind of just did something a little bit different today to see what else they have on their YouTube page. Um, please give a thumbs up for this video, like and subscribe. And if you want me to watch more videos like this, just put it in the comments below. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.